Okay, we're finally getting around to working on the 2014 Escape, doing the EVAP under the hood here. Okay, we also, this is the filter for back by the fuel tank. That's the part number on it. And then this is the part for the EVAP lines. It's kind of a setup there. And here's Anthony. He's gonna fix my car for me and do an oil change in it. I don't even. I've never. We don't have any gas. We're not a. We're not a gas shop. Yeah. We're a diesel shop. I just take stuff but, off until it. Until it looks right. Well, I dropped the freaking bolt. Took all these bolts out. Took a whole bunch of them out. You can't really see all those. If I look. Oh, the flash came on. Look at that, yeah. huh? So we took all these bolts out, didn't we? Why? Because you dropped a bolt. Look at that. Is it in there? <laughs> huh? No? I'm looking at it. Okay. It's right you... there. We found it. Okay, good job. We found it. <laughs> oh. oh, you dropped it. We're both down here trying to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know where it's okay, at. Okay, so let's it. see if you can find it. I can't. Let's have a... Don't you do it. Nope. I'm holding all this stuff so you can see it. I can't see it. Down. Right there. Yep. Way in. Keep going. Come my way. Keep going my way. Oh, look at that. Bam. You got it. We are a team. <laughs> got it. Pulls back and don't drop anything else. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you told me that because, you know, I was going to drop everything. I know. You like doing that. Okay. Okay. This line, way down in here, I wasn't strong enough to push the clip in, which is back here. So I got this long skinny screwdriver, put it on there, push, and pull. Got it. All you need is a screwdriver. Yeah? Awesome. So if that's the right one, it needs to disconnect it. It is. I looked. Okay, so we got it out. There are, down in there, there's a bracket that you gotta take two 13s off of, and then the back line plugs in way back there. Yeah, let's go look. Here, I'll pull it out right now. Fishing it out right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to take this off. Isn't that like the brake? Uh, that's brake fluid, I think. This ain't brake fluid. This is vacuum for the brakes. Oh. Bro. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I mean, this ain't a terribly old car. I know I could put a tool on it, run the risk of scratching the side and it not sealing. Okay. Potentially. Okay, you do not have to take the whole cowl off. No, or we didn't. Not yet. So there's the old line. Um, it started running really, really bad after you filled it up. And the last time we filled it up, it almost didn't start. Um, all my research tells me that it's because it overfills because this is a capless oh, yeah. fuel tank. So once it clicks off, you stop it. Otherwise, you can damage your charcoal filter, which I don't know where I put it, but it's right here. You can damage the charcoal filter. And then I'll send debris up and through the EVAP system. And you really don't want to do that. It idled okay. It never shut off on me, but just filling it up in the check engine light. It was a mess. Okay, so Anthony's under the car. Back it up. There's enough room I barely fit under there. And here's our new one. So there's three quick connects. And a sensor and some kind of mounting brackets. That, that thing, that would have been a drag if that, oh, I just dropped it. I'll get it, yeah. Stud would have rusted off. And then we want to know where to mount this to, and we have to, yeah. That would be just like, you know. Super. You get it or did it break? 
You got it. I saw it fall. It didn't break. Awesome. It's nasty though. It's okay. really nasty. Heat shield came loose with it, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. There's a heat shield right here. Heat shield was special order, so we. Okay, now didn't there's one more one. mount over here somewhere or something. Is that another tin? What? We have a mid length one. What are you doing down here? Oh, I'm trying to get the exhaust apart. That don't feel good either. Um, regular ratchet. I don't freaking know. <laughs> These are so rusted. No, it's ridiculous. It probably should be like a 13, or but a 13 don't fit. And a 14. That's what she's doing down there. Working. Showing her belly. Oh, when you Fluffy. Well, so this is a 14 Escape. and All-wheel drive. Yep, all-wheel drive. That matters, right? Yes, that matters. So for an EVAP canister, which is very, very, like, supposedly a really simple deal, I think we have found the easiest way, the quickest way to get it out. Now, we got to get the sway bar loose, which you can see over there, right there. We just loosen the sway bar. Now, I'm not sure that you need to do that, but we need to get the shock loose, and you don't need both shocks loose. Just one shock and take all four crossmember bolts out. And then we'll, what we did was we jacked up. One side, we got the lift over there, but it's taken up. We just jacked up both sides. We dropped the exhaust. And we in. dropped the exhaust, which I don't think we need to drop the exhaust. I don't exhaust even think we needed to do that, but if it was we did worth the cross the member. So get the shock loose and then, yeah. So dropping the cross member is, does need to happen if you got an all-wheel drive escape. And then. But you don't have to take the cross member out and you don't have to take anything apart. You just take the bolts out right there, lower it down. And Julie will just pull it right out of the top. Yeah. Just pull it right out of there. There you go, that's your evap canister in 14. Who knows what's or not. Yep, probably not. So we're gonna throw the new canister in. We might as well go ahead and throw it in, mount it up, get everything hooked up and done, put the exhaust back on, and then we'll put the K-member back up. So yeah, that is a 14 Escape 2.0 all-wheel drive EcoBoost. Yeah, buddy. With a, a EVAP. We already did all the lines in the front and we looked, actually nobody, we, we don't work on these for a living, so. There was no information on it, so this is how to take. It is not that big of a deal if you just get right to it and take the 15s out. They're 15 millimeters. There's four of them. And then you got 13s on this cross member and 13s are on the sway bar. You don't have to take the end links loose. Just I don't even think you have to take sway bar loose. You might not. It doesn't separate, though. Right there. Get the fun task of hoping it all lines back up. Yeah, line it back up and hope we don't scrub tires for the rest of the life of this thing. Yeah. Hope not. We'll see. Okay, here we are, 2014 Escape. We got the EVAP done, the canister done, which was a lot of fun, and an oil change, because we broke 90,000 miles. We've owned it a little over a year. Bought it with 55,000 on it. All right, so we got a passcode, and there's our, there's our... Uh, yeah, the car alarm likes to go off randomly. Yeah, it was just, I mean... I haven't done much escape diags here. I mean, that's probably why it's going off because it's something with the pats and the key isn't Good. happy. So, hard start, no start, loss of engine, RPM after fueling. Yeah, exactly. That's what we got right here. Body control. Oh, pats key. Invalid serial data. We have two. What if somebody else? No, that shouldn't matter. Somebody else was around us that oh, had yeah. a key. That might be why the AC just stops every once in a while. Invalid data. That was mm. our code. 1450. 1450. And lost control with instrument cluster. So let's clear them. Let's just go and clear them out. And we got new EVAP canister, new EVAP solenoids under the hood and in the back. We went ahead and replaced all of it. This thing would not fire up. You'd have to hold the pedal start the it like a 57 chevy mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so let's clear these we'll hopefully. 
Okay, <laughs> only because we do it all the time, I wanted Anthony to look at my injectors. All right, guys, this is Anthony here, Super Service. Oh my God, I don't think it'll even run with one down. <laughs> don't do that. Holy crap, let's see. That's bad on it, don't do that. It doesn't normally run like that. No, that. But I'll oh know my. what to watch for. One injector. Oh my goodness, yeah. Stop it, it's bad on it. That's barely running. I bet if I kick two of them off, it'd die. What? Really? Thanks. <laughs> what? All right, we're done. Done playing. Now, we're gonna go fill it up and see how it starts. Stay tuned for the update. Okay, I just got done filling up. All ready to go. Let's uh, go in and see how it starts. Because normally this thing is bad. Yes! Oh, good job. <laughs> Fired right up. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. You did it. <laughs> she ordered the parts and got it all done. Yeah, but I didn't bust my knuckle in the very last bolt. Uh, sorry, babe, but thank you. Going. Can you see it? Thank you. Looks like Amber to me. Look at yeah. <laughs>